Hello, in this video, we are going to see how to use a init container to modify the home page of an Apache container. The prerequisites for this topic is to have good understanding of deployments, and you should also know how to pass commands to a container. I have a deployment running here, which is an Apache deployment, and it also has got a pod under it. So this is a common, this is a standard Apache container with no customizations. We can also look the manifest of it with the file that I used before. So this is going to be a straightforward deployment with match labels and the container spec has Apache pulling HTTPD image from Docker Hub. If we have to use the port forward feature of kubectl by saying kubectl put forward the name of the pod and if i use 8080 and forward it to the container port 80 i should be able to see the home page of apache if i go ahead and click on the web preview op option of google cloud here so if i click web preview and then if i say preview on Port 8080, if I click on it, I should be seeing the home page here. Let me just refresh it. So here I get the home page of Apache. So let's see where Apache is actually fetching this information from. I'm going to control C so that I stop the GUI. And if I get into the pod by using the exit command, the name of the pod, and if I get into the pod, I can see the htdocs folder. And inside the htdocs folder, there's going to be something called as index.html. And if you cat it, you should be able to see the HTML content of the page that we viewed some time back. So this is the HTML content, which was available on the GUI. So let's say we want to kind of change this content with the help of an init container. I'm going to modify my spec, the deployment spec now. So let me just copy everything from here. I'm going to copy everything from here. And let me get into the deployment spec now. And I'm going to add an init container under the pod spec. So it would be a separate section called as init containers. And the rest of it is going to be similar, like what you would give for a container. So I have to give the name of this init container. Let me say busybox because I'm going to use the busybox image. And the image is also going to be busy box. I can pass some commands to this busy box container with the commands section of the container. So I'll say sh for shell, and I can pass some commands to it using the hyphen C flag. And now I'm going to copy paste what I type from there, but I'll be using the echo command and paste this one and I will redirect this to a temporary file in the busybox container. Let's say temp slash index.html. So this temp folder resides inside the busybox container as soon as we do this. But since we are looking to modify the content, I'm going to change it works to something else like hello world. Fine. So the command section is ready for busybox. So once the busybox container runs, it would execute this command and it would pass the control to the container. The container should start working from there. But before that, we need a shared volume between this init container and the container so that this information gets passed to the real container. And I'm going to use a volume here under the part spec. So I'm going to say volumes and I'm going to define the volume Let's say this volume is ed for empty directory. You can put any name you want. And I'm going to say 
empty directory and that's it let me just quit this editor and let me use vi because on the cloud show sometimes you may see formatting issues with nano so i'm going to use i for insert mode let me just scroll down since I have defined a volume, I need to actually mount it in the container. So I'm going to mount it first in the init container by calling the volume mounts section. And inside the volume mount section, I need to say the name, which has to match with what I defined in the pod spec here. So I have given ED, then I also have to give ED here. And I'm going to say the mount path. The mount path has to be this one because we are going to put this in this directory so I can say slash temp as the mount path slash temp. Okay, so what happened so far? We are going to launch an init container. We are going to pass it a command and that command, that command would create a file. That command is going to put some content into a file called this index.html which resides inside the temp directory. Now, we need to share this volume. Once the init container comes up, it starts its execution and when it stops, this volume has to go to the container. So we need to share the same volume with the container, the Apache container. So we're going to say volume mounts here inside the Apache container section. And we're going to call the same volume here. Name is ED, but the mount path has to be different because we know where the mount path is. We know where the home page is in Apache. We saw that before. So it has to be slash user, the complete path, local Apache 2, and then htdocs, and that's it. So the index.html file is gonna come from the busybox container, it's gonna get into the volume, and then it gets injected into the htdocs directory of Apache. So let's save this now, and let's go ahead and apply this, because this is the same configuration which I use for launching the first container, so I can do apply instead of creating it. There is some problem. Let me just go ahead and see what the problem is. So I had given something like commands, but it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, I think there is no S. Let me just go ahead and remove S. It is a singular word. Yeah, it should work now, I think. Let me just save it now. The same command, I'm gonna apply it. Okay, so it's configured. Let's see if we have a new pod or not. So the old pod is terminating and we already have a new pod and which is running in its ages five seconds. We can now put forward this pod, kubectl, put forward this pod, the name of this pod, and say 8080 colon 80. So as usual, you'll go to this web preview section and then you can click on the preview on port 880. I already have this open on a different tab. So let me switch on, switch over to the other tab. And let me just refresh it now. So I get a different content on the home page right now. I see hello world because I modified this using the busybox container. So this is just an illustration of how you can actually use your init container but you can use it for various other purposes. And BusyBox is one of the commonly used in it containers. All right, so that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and hope it was helpful.